Crazy fiancé went three guys with her friends, cheated shamelessly, and now begs me to reclaim her. So my, 25 male, fiancé, 27 female, just moved into a new apartment and made friends with a couple who lived in the same block. One night, while hanging out with me, she asked if I ever wondered about missing out on having other sexual partners besides her. I said no. Why, do you? She said, well, I won't lie. It had crossed my mind. I said, well, we got together young, so a lot of people experience FOMO. Do you want to break up? She said no. We could become swingers. Then she said that the new friends she made were swingers and how that they say it's very fun and keeps their marriage exciting and strong. I said it's not for me and it will never be for me. So you have to make a call here if you can live our monogamous lifestyle or not. She said it was just a fantasy. We should be allowed to confess her fantasies even if we're not going to act on it. I said fair enough. Anyways, I had to leave for a week for a work meeting. On the day I was returning, I received a weird message from her saying, can't wait for you to reclaim me. I thought maybe she's doing some dirty wordplay, so I replied in kind. We were back and forth till I reached home from the airport, and she was waiting for me. Very excited. Anyways, the moment I entered, she was all over me. When we reached the bedroom, she said that she is feeling so close to me right now, and that she knew I would be up for it. I asked what? She said, well, reclaim me after I had sex with someone else. It increases the love between a couple. My friends told me that. At that point, I was shocked beyond belief. But somehow I kept my cool and asked her to explain herself. She then told me her swinger friends had told her that after a couple had sex with others, they would make love to each other and reclaim their love. And she just had a three guys with her friends. So she was very excited for me to reclaim her. I just asked her to collect her things and get out of my house right now or I will call the police. She was shocked and started crying and tried to explain herself. But I dialed 911 in front of her and kept my finger on the dial button, so she left while crying. Next morning, at 10 a.m., my bell rang and she was there again. Only this time she had her two swinger friends with her. Against my better judgment, I invited them in, and they tried to explain the lifestyle and its benefits to me. I felt like I was cornered by Jehovah Witnesses and then told me that I could have a three guys with my GF and the wife of the couple right now, and she was a looker in GL. I said, no, thank you. Please leave. They were shocked, and my fiancé again started to argue with me that I was holding back my fiancé from living her life, and how I was blind and not seeing this the future way of life, and blah, blah, blah. I threatened to call building security. Only then they left. Anyways... I went in sea with my fiancé and blocked her everywhere. One week later, she came to my office, and since everybody knew her, I didn't want to make a scene there. She said that she had broken the lease on her new apartment and moved out of there. She also said that she had cut all contact with those friends from that day onwards when I threw them out, and was now living with her BFF, who was very mad at her. She then apologized to me for causing me hurt and said she was enrolling in individual counseling to find out why she did what she did. Also, she said she had no excuses, but would appreciate it if we could keep in touch even if we were no longer together. She then said she will always love me and maybe one day we will come together again, what she was hoping for. She then hugged me and we parted ways. It was six months ago and she keeps me informed of her progress. She has changed jobs, is doing regular therapy, and has made a new friends group. So Reddit, my question is this. I really like this girl. And yes, she committed a giant mistake, but she took responsibility and is actively working to better herself. Will I be a fool to rekindle our relationship again, or is it too much wishful thinking on my part? We have reached the end of the story. Let's listen to some comments by our Reddit listeners. Comment 1. Maybe she's working on things now, but it's wrong to call this a mistake. It was a choice, a deliberate act. You made your position on this very clear. You even asked her, then and there, 
whether she wanted to continue with you or not. There was no ambiguity. There was no confusion. Then she went and did the thing anyway. At some point, she needs to understand the full consequence for this. Breaking things off was the immediate consequence, and the full consequence should ideally be no getting back what she had. She was quick to throw it away. Comment 2 you said no to swinging, but she did it the first chance she had. You will find someone else who respects your wishes. It's not about her swinging, whatever floats her boat. She just thought, well, let's try it. He will agree to it one day. That's disrespectful. And if she doesn't respect you before the marriage, she surely doesn't during marriage. One day, you maybe have kids in debt, and suddenly she is tired of your boring life again and smashes with the neighbors again. Comment 3 granted that the couple just manipulated her, but she is a fully grown adult and should have some critical thinking skills to understand what's important. So either she thinks at the level of a five-year-old or she's the kind that cheats. Either way, it may not feel this way, but I think down the road, you'll be glad that you found out about her now instead of just down the road after you got married and had kids. Just say no. It's not that she cheated once that she told you about. She showed to you how she thinks and what she prioritizes in her life and that she's capable of cheating. You've been talking to her for six months too long. Let her work on herself on her own time and don't wait for her to fix herself. Please have some self-respect and block her. This time she told you that she had three guys. Next time she may not. I think it's in your best interest to block her and go in C. By keeping her around, you are spending some of your time and energy on her, which you should be focusing on finding a new relationship. Serial Cheater GF exposed her three-month affair, so I showed no remorse and kicked her out. This all started about a month ago. That night, I found I got a message from my ex-GF sister because she was worried. The sister told me she should have made it home by now, but there was no response. This was strange to me because she wasn't supposed to be home for another day. I called her to check in because she was having severe depression and anxiety, and so I was worried. It turns out she was with another guy and has been for three months. This really complicates my situation because we not only just moved in together, away from everyone, but she joined my phone plan too. I wasn't sure what to do. When I confronted her about it, she was totally honest about what was going on. We both cried on the phone, and I told her that we'll both take off work to talk about it to decide what we should do. We talked for hours and ultimately decided we weren't happy together and we should just end things. We set boundaries, she moved into the guest room, and I thought it would be okay. For the next couple of weeks, things got really rough. We were fighting, hooking up, avoiding each other, laying in bed together, and it was just a total mess. To make things worse, she was also still talking to the other guy, and that gave me anxiety and didn't help my depression. She swore she didn't want a relationship, and that they were only friends, and I trusted her. When I finally hit a bad low, though, I reached out to my friends and family for help. She didn't talk to me for three days after that. They all said I should kick her out, but I felt that was wrong. We've both spent a lot of money to move here, so I wanted her to get back on her feet first. Also, she was in therapy, and I was worried sending her home would set her back. I wish I would have listened, because it got really bad. She had a huge fight with the other guy, and I consoled her and was trying to help her through it. I know it was rough, because she was acting like she used to when we dated. She was super affectionate. She would kiss me on the cheek, and she wanted to lay in bed with me. That next morning, we woke up and hooked up again. But I saw the message she was sending to the other guy, and they weren't talking like friends. To make matters worse, I went to her room to drop something off afterwards and saw the apology flowers he got her. After this, we fought for two days. I went to a friend's house to pick something up and broke down in a rant about what just happened. They talked some sense into me, and I kicked her out. She left that night. When we talked on the phone about how she'd get the rest of her stuff, she came to me about giving her no notice and about how she had nowhere to go. She was upset because she went to see her cousins and her dog had to stay with her parents. We were screaming because she never asked for additional time. I would have definitely given it to her, but I still feel crappy because it felt like I messed up. After about 20 minutes of screaming, I was sick of it and messaged the other guy about what was going on between us while she was living with me. He called me, asked about the details, and it turns out she was lying to both of us the whole time. Also, she wasn't at her cousin's. 
She was at his place. She lied again. I talked to him for two hours. He's actually a super nice guy. Just made some stupid decisions. She's coming back to pick up her stuff. She wants me gone, but I don't trust her. I don't know if she'll wreck my apartment. I don't know if she'll hurt my cat. So I want to be there. We've reached the end of the story. Let's listen to some of the comments by our Reddit listeners. Comment 1. Forget her and stop trying to be friends. It's never gonna work. When she picks up her stuff, have an officer go to make sure she doesn't try anything, but get her stuff and get out. Comment 2. I would give her an exact time to be there and I would also call the police or sheriff's office. They will send someone to make sure things are amicable. Years ago, my buddy kicked his wife out for cheating. She came home to get some stuff and attacked him. He pushed her away and she fell down the stairs of the front porch. He was arrested and it affected his custody hearing. It took about a year to get through all of it, but in the end, her lies came out. Just protect yourself. Comment 3. You talked to the other guy for two hours and he didn't know about you? You sent him a text telling him what was happening with you and her. What was his reaction? Who was texting me and my GF? Then he called you or you called him. I'm trying to figure out what this conversation was like. OP reply. He didn't know we were hooking up. And I texted him that it was happening. He knew who I was. He knew about us before we broke up. But he thought we had a clean breakup. He called me after I texted him because he was genuinely upset we were sleeping together. He didn't know that because she lied to him. 